Hi there, my name is Buffy. Um, I decided to do a another drink tonight that I figured, well, what more can you ask for? I'll just keep on coming. More ideas, fresh ideas that are totally original, that are actually made by me, and I don't get any ideas from watching other people's YouTube videos or read on book, books or search on how to make a certain drink. I decided to come up with ideas with my own heart to pass on to you all to inspire you to enjoy my new fresh taste of a drink. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, my name is Buffy, uh, just in case you didn't get that the first time. So let's go ahead and get started. That. The name of the drink I'm putting together tonight is called a the Fire and Ice. And what, the, uh, what I decided to get this drink from and, this, and what inspires me is from the show called Revenge, which is my favorite TV show. And I'm not, uh, I just, I know I'm not going to get in trouble because I'm not, uh, this is actually something that inspires me. I'm talking about the show Revenge. If you don't know a thing about it, I would suggest that you go ahead and go on Netflix, uh, Hulu, and also go to the store and buy the DVD season one through four. I have learned that it has been my favorite and passionate type of show, and I got this idea from this show called The Fire and Ice, which they did this uh, theme for an engagement party for Emily Thorne and our favorite gang of Grayson. So, I have been inspired that this is a huge thing for me that I felt so impassionate with. As you can tell, my hairstyle is all nice and beautiful. And if you look closely, what I have in my hair? Infinity. So, if you kind of can't get a good glimpse of it, I'm going to show you at the end of the video my total hair of the double infinity I just found. I'm so excited today. So, we're going to make this wonderful drink, and it's a two-part uh, series of, of making this drink. The first part, we're going to start with the kind of like the white part, and then the next part we're going to be doing with, with is the red part, which that calls the fire. So, we're going to do the ice. And we're going to do the fire. And once we get this all together, you're going to see the wonderful transformation of the fire and ice. We're going to go ahead and use a shaker cup, which, uh, or you can use it wherever where you're going to call this kind of thing. Uh, I call it the shaker. Uh, some bartenders call, have another name. So basically, you're going to start with some ice in here and glass number one. Okay. And I'm going to get to the glass number two. So, we, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to head and start with the, um, this blue stuff. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and give you a step-by-step -step instruction. I'm not going to name any of, of these things that are actually what you call advertised. Um, and I'm going to protect myself from not using their uh, name just so I will protect myself from none. So, I'm going to go ahead and use this called blue drink. And you don't want to use very much because remember it is blue. You don't want to. You're making this as a, you know, we call it, uh, yeah, the ice. You don't want to do it too much. So with this blue drink, uh, you're, you can find these at your local store. You can find something that looks similar like this. Go ahead and look. Try and memorize it if you have to. Watch a video a few times just to get the idea. Don't feel bad. Just keep watching a few times, and you probably get the idea with this. You're gonna do a half shot of this drink. Because it is color blue and you don't want and you want to take away the actual color of the drink so here's about half shot you're going to go ahead and throw it in there then you're going to go ahead and put two shots of the plain vodka um or i'll cut that later you're going to do the plain vodka again i'm not going to say the name of the drink because i will uh keep them protected so the uh, blue bottle of vodka it's a top shelf brand and you can find this at any aisle of your liquor store uh, or i mean uh, of the liquor department of the store. You're gonna go ahead and put two shots of this, uh, this wonderful blue uh, vodka. It is plain, and you can use any kind of vodka that will suit your taste. It all depends on how much you wanna spend or how little you wanna spend. <coughs> so like I said, again, two shots of this. There's two. And so we're gonna go ahead and add four shots of white champagne. Why in the world is she using a lot of champagne in all of her drinks? Well, I'm a huge uh, champagne fan, and I just like, what can I do differently with my next champagne? If you haven't gone back to my first video that I made, which is that, you know, that actually gives you a sense of the idea of called Tropical Punch, or, um, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, or you can call it Nightcap. Well, and I thought tonight, 
why can't you just call it another new name called the Tropical Night? So you got Tropical uh, Punch by day, Tropical Night by night. So it gives you an idea. Go back to the first video, you will get that down. First shot of this. Because it is fizzy, so you got to slow it real slow. One. You don't have to count with me. <laughs> Two. Okay, here's three and one more. There we go. Here's your ice part of the drink. I'm gonna set this aside for the uh, for phase two of the drink. And the phase two of the drink you're gonna be using is, so you're gonna put this on, keep this up so you swirl it, you don't shake it because all the carbonation drink, you do not shake any, uh, do something like this because if you put, even put the lid on, you will have an explosion. You don't want that. We're gonna put that on the side. In glass number two, we're gonna go ahead and put in this cup so you can see what I'm doing. And this is the red part of the drink. It's called the fire. Well, I just did the ice. Now let's do the uh, the fire taste. And what we're gonna do with this one, you're gonna go ahead and put about two shots of the uh, wonderful strawberry daiquiri. Uh, it's like a margarita kind of mix, and I, again, I cover all these uh, labels so you do not see them. Uh, you can go to your liquor aisle again and just try to memorize what you can uh, what you can do with these things. Okay, we're going to use the same cup. I don't have time to go wash it, so we're just going to deal with it. Uh, I'm going to do about two shots of this. It is a little thick. Okay, there's one. And two. Okay, now we got the strawberry flavor. And then you're going to go ahead and add the uh, half shot of, uh, of this uh, blackberry liqueur, which is the bottle that looks like this, and it's got a little purple thing on top, so you cannot forget that. You can, and it is a kind of an expensive type uh, shop brand uh, taste. Did I say half shot? Yes, I did. Um, so don't feel alarmed that it's good, uh, that you're going, okay, I cannot find it. That's your, you know, if you can find them, I will know what I'm talking about. Just, uh, just add to it and everything. Now, uh, now that we're coming together with this wonderful taste of the fire, we're going to go ahead and splash with, with this uh, grenadine. You don't have to put too much. You don't need to just put a splash. You only put about maybe a quarter of this cup. So you're going to go oh, right there. There you go. You really can't barely, barely filling this cup up. There's that. So. How am I going to put this drink together? I will show you in just a second. Don't feel bad. Okay, we're going to put this aside. We're going to put this aside. We're going to swirl this one more time. We're going to use a glass called Coolers. You can use it, uh, any suggestion ideas. I mean, you can probably do it in this glass or you can put it in this hurricane glass, which I'm going to go ahead and use the cooler glass just to give you a, a similarity idea. So we're going to go ahead and fill this thing up. You can throw a little bit of ice if you want in your cup, just to give it a little bit of extra chill to your taste. Ice is in the middle. There we go. One more time. Okay, you're going to go ahead and fill this up. It is ice. Remember, see how that's nice, beautiful, icy taste? That's where that blue looks like. It's got a little flavor of ice. So you fill it up about there. And so, here's the trick. You're going to use the syringe and the straw. You're going to take them both like this, and I'm going to show you in just a second. And I'm going to, uh, basically, you put these together and make sure it, uh, it does not go uh, anywhere other than in your glass. And I'll give you just a second. So first, you're going to take a syringe, and you can find these at, uh, where we can find them. Uh, I just found this in the Halloween aisle, you know, just the other day. So I figured, hey, this would be great to make my drink. So, you're going to take this glass number two, which is your fire, and that's what we did with the other mix. You can kind of go, okay, I'm going to pull it all up. Keep up. Just like you're going to bring blood in your drink. <laughs> which is we're not doing it. We're going to get into that next video. See how nice and thick that is? So, it kind of gives that little bit of taste. Just kind of get the excess off. You know, there you go. So, you see how that is? It kind of sucks it up in there and everything. So, you're going to go through upside down. And there you go. You're going to go just... Ooh, does that look pretty or what? <gasps> and there's your ice and your fire taste, and it's just a beautiful look. Yeah, look. 
You're not, you're not putting it all in your drink on top. You want to put it on the bottom because the fire and then you got your ice on top. You also know that fire and ice represents the um, meeting of truth of love. In between a man and a woman, you know, that kind of thing. You have to go to the, uh, uh, watch the season one. Uh, uh, basically, you only need to, you don't have to use all of it. Just kind of slowing it. Here we go. Here we go. You can use the same straw too, to drink out of it. So basically, you got this idea of called the Fire and Eyes, and doesn't it look so beautiful? You got your ice in the bottom, and you got your uh, your, your fire here, and then ice up here. That's why we kind of did not want to overdo that blue drink, so you can get that uh, that look and everything. Ah, now I'm gonna have to try it and see how you guys uh, how I like it. Mm. Talk about good. It's different. I love it. That's definitely a drink that you can eat. Um, you can sell it pretty much at any of your uh, customers if you and decide to ch choose my idea from this show. I mean, from this uh, video tonight. Or you do this at dinner party just to give your friends and family some new taste and thinking, what do I feel like time to drink? Tell them that Buffy has suggested the wonderful taste of Fire and Ice and I was inspired by Revenge TV show. I thought, hey, what a great idea. I can just keep adding more other new flavors to come to this, to, uh, coming your way. And uh, I'm not just done yet because I'll have a lot more coming soon. So we're going to go ahead and do um, this wonderful glassware. Blooper time. <laughs> So, it, I just thought, what more can we ask for? Just add some more drinks to my uh, uh, to my video. And then I'll just think about other things that will come soon. Please watch for the next video that um, will be coming up next. It's called the, um, the Halloween drink. And I will give you a little bit of suggestion and some surprises that will come after that. And you'll see my whole backdrop behind me not looking like this. It's going to look like a Halloween theme. So, look forward to it. So... Again, I hope you all enjoy your fire and ice taste. And if you want to, you don't have to, you know, drink with the straw. You can drink it with, just like this. You know, it tastes differently this way than it does the other way. So, you get two different flavors. You can drink it from the bottom, or you can drink it from the top. So, it really, it's a double taste in one drink. So, y'all, I hope this uh, will help you and inspire you. With something new and fresh, tasty ideas of uh, what you can do with champagne and what you can do with other things. Well, I didn't remember that I do, was going to show you my whole hairstyle on my left side that you can see. Got a little bit of double infinity that goes with the TV show Revenge. And then once you watch that show, you'll get the idea of what does the double infinity stands for. But I'm not going to take that whole, uh, you know, idea away from them because that is the show for you. I want you guys to check it out yourself. So, again, I hope you enjoy your new taste of called the Fire and Ice. And it's supposed to be uh, a little bit of, I would say this one's not so sweet. It's not so bitter, but it's just kind of like in between, depending on how you mix it. So now you get the uh, too rough idea of what you can do with uh, mixing two drinks buy two different glasses and adding it to one taste again I hope uh, everything that you can learn tonight uh, will give you that new fresh taste in your bar or your restaurant or you know even at your home dinner party or whatever you feel like the needs for the for the fire and ice taste um also you can follow me on uh, Twitter Instagram and Facebook my under name Buffy Pribble and then you can also um, Hit like down there, or you can hit uh, uh, comments are greatly appreciated because I'd like to know what your feedback is when you decide to make this drink yourself and how you like it and see if it is it your favorite uh, flavor. If I hit something that, oh my God, I have a lot of these. Well, I just hope that I did my job to show you some new flavor. And um, I think that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty much a wrap up tonight. And I hope that you enjoy 
This uh, flavor of the taste, and then we'll look forward to the Halloween theme. And we'll just other ideas because I haven't decided that I'm going to do more uh, after that. So keep me on your toes. I got new stuff coming in store. And then not to mention there's Christmas coming. Oh, I love the idea of having Christmas coming so I can figure out some new twist to some ideas for the drink. And then also the, uh, please watch other videos that are not just related to drinks that I'm teaching you. But there's going to be other things that you will have to wait and see. So, again, you all have a wonderful night. And I just hope that my drinks will inspire you just as much as it has done for me. Because I just talk, I think this thing on top of my head right off the bat. And then, wow, it tastes really good. So, you all have a wonderful night. Enjoy your drink of fire and ice. And, oh, I can't wait to hear from you. Thank you. And have a wonderful night.